Hey YouTube, it's Anthony from CompSize Studio and welcome back to your 35th Java programming tutorial. So if you guys made it through the last tutorial, uh, that's pretty much the tough part. It's just trying to understand what the heck is going on with all those indexes and stuff in uh, 2D arrays. So if you guys got that mastered, this should be a breeze, this program. Um, just the only thing different today is we're going to be basically... Um, we're gonna have a bunch of uh, values in our 2D array, just like we did before. We're gonna have, um, we're gonna initialize it the exact same way. Just this time, I'm gonna be um, printing out every single element in that array using a nested for loop, two nested for loops. Um, I haven't taught you guys about nested for loops, but I guess this is a good time to learn it. Um, basically, what a nested for loop is, it's just a for loop inside a for loop. So um, it's it sounds kind of weird at the start, but it's actually not that tricky. Um, so yeah, the best way to learn it is, I guess, just get right into it. So first off, let's just make another integer array, and uh, let's—I don't know what, what dimension should I make it. Um, let's just make it a five by five, and um, maybe later on we could change it up or something. So let's just make an integer array. Um, let's call it my great array great array that sounds kind of funny um, and then just your two square brackets because it's a 2d array and then set it equal to your curly braces your semicolon down and then inside these uh, curly braces you're gonna put down um, set of curly braces comma and then another set and then what I do I don't know if you guys found it helpful but I bump that down like that just so I could set it up like a grid so basically um, once I put in all my values I'm gonna do that right now so I said I was going to make it a 5x5, five five, so let's go 23, comma, 45, 34, 86, and one more number, 12. Actually, 5x5, five five, that's a lot. Um, yeah, it's a lot of, um, yeah, I would have to make five more of these. So I'm going to make a 5x3, so I would have to add one more of these and just bump that down like that. So I'm going to add in like 34. It's adding a bunch of random numbers. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't need to be the same as mine. It wouldn't affect your program. Uh, 70. So right now we have a, I think that's a three by, a three by five actually, because it's three rows and then five columns. So if I said five by three, I think I did. Oh, that was my bad. I'm making a three by five. Um, so yeah, now that we have all our values in here, uh, let's make our nested for loop next. For and uh, okay, so maybe I should explain this while I'm going. So our first for loop, our outer for loop in our um, nested for loops, I guess. Uh, basically, what that's gonna do is it's gonna be keeping track of our rows while the inner for loop is going to be keeping track of our column position so let's make our first one call it for int rows is equal to zero and then we gotta say rows is less than three because we have one two three rows and then we could just say rows plus plus close that up and then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make another for loop. So inside this for loop, just go right in there. Make sure you're, make sure you're inside these curly braces. Make another for loop. Int um, column, columns or column whatever. Set that equal to zero. And then as long as columns, columns, come on Anthony, focus uh, is less than five. And then just say i plus plus. And we did less than five. Oh i plus oh my gosh i'm tired my bad columns plus plus we did five because there are one two three four five columns in our uh 2d array and i don't know why that got bumped over uh, there we go so that's actually how when we print it out this is the whole point of this tutorial just to learn how to print it out in a way that it looks like a grid so that's exactly how it's going to look when we print it out in our array minus the curly brackets uh, so yeah, that's what we're uh, that's what we're going for right there. All right, close those uh, set of curly braces, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna be um, printing out. So just do an s out statement, and get rid of. Actually, no, don't get rid of the ln yet. Uh, just go my 
uh, great array. Probably should have sh chosen a shorter name. That's a little long. Um, and I think I said this before, but if I didn't, uh, this first one would be your rows, and this next one would be your columns. So I stick rows in there, and then columns in there. So now if we ran this, hope we don't get any errors. Good. All right, so we get 23 all the way down to 70, all on the same. Uh, well, it skips a line and then it goes to the, it goes to the next one, prints it out, goes to the next one. That's not what we want. We want it to um, be out in this grid format. So we're gonna do that. First off, we're gonna get rid of this ln. I'll just run it to show you what that does. And as you can see, it's all mashed together. So let's put a little space in between each um, each value. So just add a empty space. Then as you can see, we have spaces in between now. Now we need to go, okay, so every time it gets to the 0, 1, 2, 3, fourth element, we're going to want to tell the computer, okay, I want to go to the next line now. So to do that, all you need to do, it's really simple, you just need to go S out, and that's all you need to do. You don't even have to, if you don't want to, you don't even have to have anything in it. You just go run, run file, and shabam, look at that so beautiful it's all printed on a nice organized grid right there um so yeah let me go over this quickly and uh hopefully you guys understood this uh so basically what we did here is we created our 2d array now our 2d array we initialized some values in it by um using the curly braces and yeah so this is basically what we did in our last tutorial pretty self-explanatory if you understood it this is the pretty much the whole part of this tutorial right here so basically we used a nested for loop which is a for loop inside of a for loop our outside for loop keeps track of um what row we're on so it's going to come in here it's gonna be like okay we're at row zero print out a blank line and then we're going to come into here and then we loop here until we get to the fourth element then we come over this for loop increment this by one and then we're at the for the um row one then we print out a line and then we do it all over again and then so on. So try messing around with this, you know, add in your own, uh, add in like different ones, like different numbers, add in like 34 or something, or just like change it up and try and get comfortable with doing this. And if you guys have any questions, please feel free to comment in the comment box below and uh, comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.